right now I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on um, getting started with uh, setting up a project on UDK. Uh, this is for programming, so and we'll be setting up with Visual Studio, uh, in this case 2010. Um, I'm not going to go over the process of actually getting Visual Studio and installing nFringe. Uh, that is pretty self-explanatory and there's instructions on how to do that. Uh, the only part that gets a little confusing because there's a lot of different videos out there on how to do this is actually setting up your project. So I'm just going to run through that pretty quickly. So you start up Visual Studio and again this is for when you want to get to pro uh, programming you know adding your own classes or editing classes from the existing games. So uh, we get a file and we make a new project and uh, when you have nFringe installed you're going to see uh, the Unreal script option here so we're going to select an Unreal License C project. Uh, here you want to give it a name. Um, in this case I'll, I'll just give it a name for a game I'm working on and then in the location you want to find your uh, there's a specific folder you want so in this uh, in this case I have UDK installed in my, in my C drive directly on the root so I go to UDK then I select my version. I have two versions, so I just go to the latest one. Uh, then you go to development, and then there's a source folder, SRC, and that's going to be the folder. You're looking for a folder, not a file, or not a not a file, so you just select folder, and you see the root here. So this is going to create this project inside of the source folder, and that's where you want it. So make sure these are checked off, uh, and then click OK. So then uh, when you go to your source folder, I already have mine pulled up here, you'll see that it created this folder and all the Visual Studio stuff that you need. Um, however, you're not set just yet. There's uh, another step you have to follow. You have to set up your options or your properties for your project. So you right-click the project, the Unreal Script project, and uh, you go to Properties, which brings up the Properties window here. So under Game, you have to select uh, Unreal 3 Mod, and this is the part that got me confused because... Um, I figured I'm not working on a mod, but in essence you are working on a mod of the Unreal 3 engine. You are not a licensee, so you don't have source code access, So, and you're not making that Unreal Tournament 3 mod. So, Unreal Engine 3 mod is where you want to go. For UCC path, this is where you're going to find your binary, so this is going to be the executable file. And to do that, you go to your UDK folder, and then under binaries, you will find either the Win32 or Win64 version. Uh, the 64-bit version is the one I'm running, and then you find your UDK EXE. So go ahead and click that. Um, there you go. The reference source path is important. So uh, because we're going to be, unless you're going to be writing this from from scratch, uh, you're going to want to have the reference of all the included classes. So uh, you're going to go ahead and find your source folder, select that, and that's the folder you're going to use. So then it's going to put in all that reference source. Um, Let's see here. Uh, post build event in command line. Here we will uh, leave that the way it is for now. And then under build, uh, where it says additional options, we're going to add a, a line here that says basically dash log. This will open up the log for us when we start, uh, when we do uh, debug. And then under debug, uh, we find the executable again. Uh, this is what we did just a second ago. So we go to the binaries, Win64, and then we uh, find our application. Um, load map at startup, uh, we can do this, we can set it to a default map if you're not working on a custom map, but uh, leave that blank for now. Uh, you want to disable startup movies, this is just so we can get up, so when you debug, uh, it's going to run the game and compile and all that stuff, so you want it to be pretty quick so you can do it, uh, so you don't have to wait every time. So disable the startup movies, um, force windowed mode, because if you're not in windowed mode, it'll take a little bit longer to load up every time. And it'll hang or whatever so just leave it in windowed mode choose a resolution that you're happy with and then uh... you can choose to open the log window at a certain position uh, i mean it doesn't matter um, and that's it for here so you'll notice nothing happened even though we set that reference source so what you have to do is just close visual studio go ahead and save uh... open it back up uh, find your project and then you'll notice your reference source is populated with all these different packages here. So if you go back to your source folder, you'll see all these packages come from uh, the source folder because we set it in uh, the general settings as our reference source path. So now we can reference stuff um, easily from 
for example the UDK base classes this has a whole bunch of classes in it and uh, the UT game um, this is basically where you grab a whole lot most of the stuff if you're working on shooters or something like that um, and that's really it for setting up your project now if you want to get started uh, programming there's a few tutorials out there you can work on um, one is uh, this website I found is the Mowgli portfolio um, I don't know I don't remember how I came across it it's probably on the UDK uh, website but uh, here's the address if you want it whoops so www.mog m o u g dash portfolio dot info and uh, you'll see he has tutorials here um, listed uh, under tutorials and you go to basically they're, they're all in real script tutorials so um, you start from the forward and move on to the basics etc etc and basically the very first tutorials have you working on uh, like a little mini game very very quickly and explains classes and how they work and how you set them up set them up uh, actually how do you set up actors to be more specific um, yeah so very simple stuff but it gets you started very quickly and explains stuff pretty well so um, I don't remember if he goes over this because it's it's kind of like an intermediate there's a tutorial so he expects some level of knowledge but um, when you want to add a class you just go ahead and uh, right click add so you right click the project sorry then add new item under the list of items that you get you know you have unreal script selected because that's how you created your project and you can create a new um, unreal script file and these will have a UC uh, file extension so that's what you create and by default uh, one thing you want to make sure of is that your class name or the actual file name matches the class name otherwise it's not going to work so this is kind of like Java in that sense um, so make sure uh, those match uh, and I won't get into this he gets into all that stuff so I'd recommend you check that out and if you have any questions uh, let me know